Hi everyone, my name is Jesus Gringo, and I'm making this video because the Talking Sopranos podcast about the Sopranos is coming to an end on Monday. And while I love what Steve Sharippa and Michael Imperioli have given us in terms of info, I can't believe they still have completely failed at understanding the ending after all this time. It's so easy to explain. They just had their super fan episode and not one of those idiots could understand either what David Chase was trying to convey in the ending that he shot and aired. Not what happened after the camera went to black, but basically what he was saying with everything that aired. Now, they may be bigger fans in terms of how many times they've watched the show, but I'm definitely the smartest fan because I've never heard anyone explain the ending and I can do it so quickly it's not even funny. What do they say about anybody who stays in the mob too long? You either end up dead or in jail. And David Chase gave us both of those endings. Whether you think Tony died in the diner or not is irrelevant. His life as he knew it was coming to an end. Earlier in the episode, he meets with his lawyer and finds out there's a grand jury and indictments are coming down. So if you don't think Tony gets killed at the end, his life is still over as he knows it but see, because he's gonna go the way of Johnny Sack and basically die in jail. His entire crew has been taken out, so there's no way he's jury uh, tampering and getting that thrown out like they did with Uncle Junior. If he doesn't die, he is going to end up in jail and spend the rest of his life there. But if you believe he did die, Tony's life is also over. That was the beauty of the ending. It was like a choose your own adventure book from the 80s where no matter what path you think happened, Tony's life ends up over as he knows it. He's no longer gonna be the mob boss. He's either dead or in jail. That was the point of the ending as David Chase shot and aired it. Now, David Chase has had a Freudian slip maybe last year where he said the scene in the diner where Tony got killed and then he might have confirmed that as well this year. So in David Chase's head, Tony's dead. And, that, and that's the creator, so you're not gonna argue with that. But my point is that's not the ending that aired on TV. The ending that aired cut to black. And the reason so many people didn't understand the point was that Tony's life as he knows it is over is because they only concentrated on the last scene. They completely forgot that earlier in the episode, he finds out from his lawyer that there's a grand jury meeting and he's gonna end up indicted and then going to jail. He's not getting out of that one. The point of the ending was when it cut to black, Tony's life as he knows it was over, whether he lived or died. Anyway, if you liked the video, please subscribe and thanks for watching.